Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's Battle and Lore topic is a mysterious event known as First Light, which has sparked many questions in lore discussion ever since we learned it exists. The aim of this video is to cover the information known about it, as well as the connections that have been drawn between First Light and other events. Although I will try to stay as factual as possible, there will be some theories presented and discussed as the video progresses. That being said, let's get to it. A good place to start is what it actually is. First Light is the result of a retinite event that caused a planet-wide energy shutdown. Immediately, this proposes many other questions, but let's first read the two paragraphs from which I've extracted this brief description. First Light, a few weeks from now. A global event. A sudden flash consumes the globe. Electrical grids and power systems worldwide shut off. Civilization plunged in darkness for a few tense hours before just as mysteriously, power restores and engines hum back to life. What has happened? Is this a new, climate-based tipping point? A research lab, somewhere not far from here. A mysterious research lab is operating during first light. Its experiments intended to observe a hitherto undiscovered substance in the universe, and to discover its truths. First light is a supercharged radionite event, and for the first time, or is it, humankind is able to record it. With this new secret discovered, events will follow that transform the world as we know it, leading to an unimaginable progress of change leading up to the events of Ignition, Episode 1. Is the world ready? Will mankind harness these secrets for good or for ill? These paragraphs were provided to Simpril, a fellow Valorant lore enthusiast and friend, by David Nottingham, creative director of the game, as the climax for an alternate reality game that took place in the Valorant lore slash art Discord server. I will leave a link to it in the description. This piece was a huge reveal, as it finally gave some insight into what First Light actually is, and it has allowed us lore nerds to ask more accurate questions in conjunction with some older ones, like who was performing the experiment, where was it performed, when did it happen, what kind of experiment, what does supercharge mean, what are the implications of a worldwide shutdown, did it create radiance, is this how the mirrorverse appeared, and not the first time it happens? Yeah, lots of questions as per usual. Let's start off with some of the simpler ones though. When I started writing this script, the answer to when first light happened went like this. According to one of the newsreels in the duality cinematic, the one you see on screen, first light took place 10 years before the events of duelists. Knowing that duelists took place in 2049, as stated in the lower half of the title card, the math says that first light took place around 2039. However, this answer changed after the Q&A that took place on the Lord Discord on the 31st of July. With some accounts of the dates in the title cards for the cinematics not being canon already existing, David Nottingham confirmed that the years stated in Roman numerals are not canon, as they prefer to talk in terms of near future to avoid anchoring down on any given date. What does this mean for the question at hand? When did first that happen? Not much, we simply cannot speak of specific dates, but the 10 years ago statement from Duality still stands. If you want to read more into the canonicity of the dates, check out the links I will leave in the description. Despite having relatively precise information for when it happened, there is nothing confirmed for who was experimenting on Radionite or where the experiment took place. If I had to point to someone amongst the people and organizations we have been introduced to, it would have to be Kingdom as they are the only ones we know that research radionite on a large scale. This research can be seen on Icebox's research wing or the newsreels in Duality and the end of the year teasers, which show a team of Kingdom scientists in a lab. As for where the experiment is, I have two theories. The first one, and the wilder of the two, comes from the short sentence in the subtitle for the second paragraph, somewhere not far from here. What does the text refer to as here? According to the worldwide outage, the entire planet. What is not far from the planet? The moon. Moon base map when? Okay, okay, now for the more serious theory, the site of the experiment might be depicted in the Experiment XO11 card. Called Radionite Lab in the game files, the card shows a team of scientists with Kingdom logos on their backs, monitoring a huge shard of Radionite. Both the shard and the cables coming off of it display sparks or rays, which could be what the text refers to as supercharged. Given the similarity found between Experiment XO11 and the description of First Light, I think this card could very well be the lab where First Light is being monitored. If this were the case, it would confirm Kingdom's involvement through the logo on the back of the scientists. There's no clear of this though, at least not yet. My answer to the who question was Kingdom, but there's a clarification I would like to make. 
Although after reading the text for the first time my understanding was that first light was caused by direct experimentation on radionite, a couple more readings made me come to the conclusion that first light is actually a natural event. Let me explain. At first, I thought that tests were being performed on radionite, causing it to become supercharged and finally to result in first light. However, the text states that the laboratory in which the experiment takes place was simply monitoring and observing the substance. This could be a misunderstanding of the wording though, so let's take a look at another sentence. First light is a supercharged radionite event, and for the first time, or is it, humankind is able to record it. There are two key points in this line that make me think that first light is a natural event. First, the fact that this might not be the first time in history that it happens. It presents the idea of there being previous instances, but this being the first time that it was properly witnessed and documented. Second is the fact that it says record instead of cause. Humankind documents what happens after the event takes place, but it is never said that we are responsible for it taking place. If it really wasn't the first time though, why hasn't it been recorded before? Well, if we look at the results of the event, it was only electrical and mechanical instruments that were affected. If such a thing were to happen several hundred years ago, there would not be huge repercussions as technology was still rudimentary and it would have been just brushed off. This of course is not the absolute truth and it is up for interpretation, but until more information regarding this event comes out, this is the best I have. With this, the three main questions are addressed, who, where, and when and together with them, some brief discussion for others such as first light truly being the first event of its kind. Now, I'd like to head into a more rocky topic, the misuse of first light in theories. It is very frequent to find theories using first light as a scapegoat for elements that don't have a clear explanation. Not only is this a bland resource, but it is often objectively false. Things like radionite and radiance are credited as being the result of first light, but is it really the case? In this next section, I'll be talking about this, as well as the rise of Venice and the Mirrorverse. Let's get started. Did radionite and radiance appear after first light? In the case of radionite, despite the initial belief that it appeared with first light, it has become clear that it did not. Its presence in breeze and the fact that first light itself is a result of radionite make it clear that the substance existed long before. As for radiance, the answer is more convoluted as we have to dive into Icebox and the Samurai elements, which means talking about Jorus' ancestors, which is another one of the dangerous rabbit holes. Putting it simply, it is most likely that radiance existed before first light, but according to an article from Game Informer from back in March 2020, new ones appeared after the event. These are lines of thought that are worth looking further into, as is the concept of supercharged radionite, so stay tuned for a video talking about them. Although not as frequently, it is said that the rise of Venice was caused by first light, but it was absolutely not. The rise of Venice, the name given to the formation of Ascent and the Range, is caused by the events saw in the Duelist cinematic, that being the explosion of a spike, which takes place 10 years after first light. Is the Mirrorverse a result of first light? Honestly, I go back and forth on this one, but I think the balance is turning towards it not being a result of first light. First, let's take a look at why it may have caused the split between Earth 1 and Earth 2. We could consider as evidence a reply on the Reddit AMA you see on screen. From my understanding, David implies that the correct question to ask is, what created this alternate universe or timeline? With the reason for the split being a thing and not a person, it is possible that first light was the cause. There's also the fact that first light had a great impact on the world, which would certainly be true if the whole planet is duplicated. As you can see, there isn't much supporting the idea of first light causing the split, but to be fair, when I began writing this video, there wasn't much to support the mirrorverse existing before first light either. With the release of Fracture though, things have changed. Fracture introduces the two kingdoms, Kingdom Corporation, belonging to Earth 1 or Alpha Earth, and Kingdom Industries, from Earth 2 or Omega Earth. Kingdom Industries is technologically more advanced than Kingdom Corporation, so much so that it is questionable whether it is possible to create such a gap in only 10 years. Of course the naming is also interesting. Either there has been a major rebrand if the split happened because of First Light, since there would only be one kingdom before the split, or there have been two separate kingdoms for longer, implying that First Light did not cause the Mirrorverse. The last thing Fracture introduced were the employee emails, with Ruben Pontes and Oran McEnaf as the protagonists. 
One of these emails, sent by Ruben, mentions how he can't believe how different things have become just since first light. The email can be used as an argument for both yes and no. It can be interpreted as him saying that the world changed because of the split, or that first light had consequences in the already existing mirrorverse. Either way, it confirms that the event caused a major change worldwide. This section is very heavy speculation, so don't just take it with a pinch of salt. Take it with the whole salt shaker. So yeah, first light is not the be all end all event that it is sometimes portrayed as. It is definitely a huge turning point in the story of Valorant though, and it has had enormous repercussions that have changed the direction of the planet, both in short and long term, so let's talk about that. Yes, first light was catastrophic. As the text states, power shut off on a worldwide level, turning off electricity grids and even engines. This means that planes, cars, ships, computers, and most other technology all around the world was disabled. What happened to the airplanes that were flying at the time? The shutoff lasted for hours, transatlantic flight would suffer casualties. Same goes for submarines, and hospitals where patients depend on machines to live, and the list just goes on. In a world where we depend so much on electricity, having it cut off for hours is an absolute disaster in any sense, especially humanitarian. The short-term consequences of first light are potentially dire, but what about the long-term ones? Well, if it really was the cause of the Mirrorverse, the long-term effects aren't much better either, with the rise of Venice being another disaster. Fortunately, it isn't all bad news. First Light brought along huge technological changes as mentioned in the text. Not only that, but the Game Informer article I mentioned earlier also speaks of changes to the life of people and the organization of governments. These technological advances, more specifically the exploitation of Radionite, may look like great news, but they have also led to the search of industrial complexes such as Vine, with citizens being displaced and cultural heritage destroyed in the name of progress. With this in mind, I'd like to go back to Ruben's email. In it, he talks about what could have been, the final confirmation of the repercussions First Light had in the world. I did go over some elements of the Valorant universe that are attributed to First Light in the scapegoat section, but I purposefully left one of them out, the Valorant protocol itself. While the organization that founded the protocol is still unknown, the Game Informer article provides another key piece of lore, confirming that the Valorant protocol was created as a result of First Light. Despite this being an old article, it is very likely that the information is still canonical, as the newer The Story of Valorant So Far article from Valorant's own website states that the protocol is a covert operation set up to prevent disasters. So, what can we say about First Light? It is an event that happened 10 years before the current events of Valorant that had major consequences. Oh, and that we know basically nothing for certain, as is the case with the majority of Valorant lore. In any case, I hope you all liked my rambling and if so leave a like and subscribe. Until the next video, happy lore hunting and have a nice day.